Indy Mogul. Sometimes fear is the appropriate response. Watch out, cute and fuzzy animation. Dark and disturbing animation has you in its sights. And it's gaining quickly, first with box office hit Coraline, and now possibly Nine. Yes, whereas this alternative fare used to be, well, alternative, it's now becoming more popular with the mainstream, making it, well, more mainstream. And Nine certainly has some big names behind it. First, there's Tim Burton and Wanted director Timur Bekmambetov as producers, while such stars as Elijah Wood, Jennifer Connelly, John C. Riley, Christopher Plummer, Crispin Glover, and Martin Landau round out the cast of voices. But this movie and its director Shane Acker aren't exactly lacking in their own credentials. Acker's short film of the same title and on which this movie is based won a Student Academy Award for animation in 2005. It lost out on the actual Academy Award to The Moon and the Sun, an imagined conversation, which is the kind of stuff that always wins. But not at the box office. At least not usually, which is why Indie Shingle Focus Features is finally getting into the animation game. See, this way they can reap the rewards of the animation cash cow while still keeping their intellectual street cred. Well played, Focus Features. Well played. Ultra Kawaii shows off the internet's cutest pet videos. I mean, just look at this. New adorable episodes every Tuesday at ultrakawaii.com. Eric is making his first feature film and you can be a part of it. Check out fathersunrun.com for daily production videos, filmmaking tips, posters, your name in the credits, and much more. Also check out Indie Mogul on September 7th and 14th for a special Father Sun Run episode of BFX. Eric's making a film. And he needs all the help he can get. This movie has a lot of hype. Is it worth the hype? Uh, I think so, yes. I don't know if it was, you know, worth a lot of the hype, but if what it was worth, it was a very nice sci-fi type movie. You know, honestly, I, I must have been living in, under a rock. I haven't heard a lot of the hype yet, but uh, we came to see it today, and uh, it was good. It was really good. I thought it was fabulous, actually, Ooh. except I thought I was seeing a musical. <laughs> oh, I bet you were very surprised. <laughs> I was very surprised. No, I suspected that it might, might have been that one, but there's another something out. Oh, you thought you were seeing Nine with Daniel Day-Lewis? Yes. Oh, my yes. goodness, yes. I know, ridiculous, but anyway. No, not ridiculous. Uh, That's that what happens when they... Thoroughly enjoyable. Oh, great. Anyway. Much more complex than people would believe. Uh, and in a good way? In a good way, uh, but unexpected. It was a little padding. It, it did seem, you know, a little thin, you know. You know, just, it was a nice sci-fi type story, but, you know, it's sort of the, the end of the world thing that you know, we have seen before. So if you weren't aware of the hype for the movie, what made you come and see it today? Um, actually, uh, these nice discount. I'll, I'll be completely honest. Uh, the discount. The tickets were only six bucks, and we. Uh, I'd seen the previews for it on TV, and it looked interesting. And Tim Burton was the producer, so I thought, you know, Tim Burton's always got something going on that's really cool. So I'll give it a shot. So. I knew that Tim Burton had something to do with this. So I was very pleased that. Uh, oh, excellent. I love him. Is it like Coraline? Do you think it's continuing that film's trend? Uh, I saw Coraline, I liked that very much, and this is sort of the same thing. It, it sort of has that same same uh, feeling about it. It was refreshing to see something besides, you know, the Pixar sort mm -hmm. of animation. I mean, you know, nothing, nothing against them, but, uh, you know, something, you know, some, nothing wrong with seeing something a little different. This is not, it's made to look like stop motion animation, but it's still CGI. Mm -hmm. Would you have preferred if it was stop motion, or do you think this look works, or? Um, I think if it was stop motion, I think it would definitely kind of be compared to Nightmare, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas mm -hmm. and those movies that, and then it would kind of be like, well, you know, maybe it was like, well, it's no Nightmare Before Christmas, because that was a brilliant movie. I think mean, this was good, too, but I, I think they, they made the right choice. Which was your favorite number? Oh, no. Nine. Nine? No, I'm the yeah. hero. Yeah, yeah. The excellent. Hero. Did you relate to the characters, even though they were little burlap sack people? Mm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the, the number nine 
character. Yeah, I liked him. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That was your he favorite was a, number? Yeah, yeah, he was a little rebellious. <laughs> is this a movie for everybody? Is it a family movie? Is it a movie for adults? You know, we were actually talking about that. Like, we were like, PG-13, and it seems like, you know, it's animated. But there was some really kind of intense, scary stuff, some... You know, some stuff that kids might not be too. Give them, give them a few nightmares, which is good. Yeah. You know. I always liked scary stuff when I was little. I right? too. You should go and see it and enjoy it on whatever level you uh, you uh, experience it. I'd recommend it, but uh, but don't expect to be totally blown away by mm. it, though. What do you give it on a one to ten? Oh, actually, a nine. I'd give it a nine for nine. I would say a seven or an eight. I'll give it a six. So the future is indeed dim as audiences give nine a 7.5. And the BTT ticket giveaway continues into the fall season. If you've seen nine, leave your one to ten rating below as well as your one sentence review. Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of AMC movie tickets. I'll be away this weekend at Anaheim for Disney's D23 Expo promoting my upcoming comic book miniseries, Muppet Peter Pan. So I'll announce the winners on the Beyond the Trailer blog this Sunday. I'm Grace Randall reporting from AMC Empire 25 and you've just gone beyond the trailer.